welcome back to this Halloween celebration brought to you by your friendly neighborhood King of the Games. I am of course your host, the Ginger God Gaming known as Martin, and we are once again playing Adam Wake. About to go on an exciting cable car adventure. Definitely exciting. It'll be here soon. Nearly there. I should start bringing this up before I start the intro. Well, this all seems safe and secure. This definitely can't go wrong. Oh. oh dear, oh dear. Oh, that's not good. Yes, flag gun. True, but the flares are limited. Whereas the flashlight seems to recharge. You can see them too? Hell, of course I see them. Come on, we gotta move. Why? <laughs> because that's the way the story goes. Yeah, but. Let's move! I lost my gun back there. Oh, I've got a gun. Oh, not again. Stand. It took a moment, but then I recognized him. He'd been on the ferry when I first arrived here with Alice. He knew my name. We were headed in the direction of Lover's Peak. There was no way this was a coincidence. He was the kidnapper. Come on, Wake. You better keep up. You set him up, and I'll knock him down, Wake. Hear that? It's them. Get in the way of my torchlight. Oh. I'm trying to remember him on the ferry, to be honest. Was he the old guy at the front? You Alice wanted to kind of take pictures with. There was another guy in that ferry which I never really interacted with. Use the flares from the emergency box to hold them off while I get these boards off. Give me the gun. Yeah, no can do. Are you kidding? Give me the gun. No time for back talk. Hold them off, damn it. Can I throw this thing, or is it literally just hold? Just a little longer, and I almost got it. Okay, it's open. Move it or lose it. Get out the way. Unless you avoided that light. Better get ready. They'll be on 
kind of soon. This is it, Wake. The last stand. There's four players here. Get ready. We fight them as long as they keep coming. Give me the gun. They're coming. That's not how this goes. Get with the program, Wake. Oh, there's a thermos down there. Come on, get around. I want that thermos. Oh, I nearly fell off the edge there. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear, behind, behind! Oh, that looks like a big guy. I really use my stuff more. I keep kind of saving it. <laughs> it just the game takes it away from you every time. Yes. Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? I knew you were going to say. Just like it was in the manuscript. You're a hell of a writer. Congratulations. You're going to bring about something glorious and terrible once we get you some uh, proper editorial control after Barry what the hell are you talking about where's Alice I want the entire manuscript or she's gonna suffer bad you touch her well that wasn't terribly smart hey I've got the gun Do I still have the flares? No! Come back here! I swear I'll kill you if you hurt Alice! Do you hear me? Come back here! Right, so I don't have my shotgun back. He had Alice, and he wanted the manuscript because he thought it held some magical power. But I had no manuscript to give him. I had to get back to Barry and figure out my next move. Well, I got part of the manuscript. On more than one occasion, Alice had tried to explain to me how it felt to be afraid of the dark. To her, darkness wasn't simply the absence of light, but something more tangible than that. It was something you could touch and feel. Worse than that, it was something with a mind of its own, something malicious and malign. For her, things changed when they were wrapped in darkness. They turned into something else, something foreign. And nothing was safe or innocent anymore. I'd never really understood what she meant, until now. See, she knew. She knew. And you doubted her. Oh, well, that took more damage than I was expecting. Okay, so... Oh, was I supposed to come back to everyone just dropping down and taking half my health off?
Oh. Swing and a miss. I was not expecting the bear trap. I was expecting the manuscript page. Man, I really regret losing all that health on a random drop. So are they all going to be highlighted? Well, they were at first. Oh, there it is. Oh, there's lots of them. Oh, I did not see that one. Oh, press the dodge button. I feel he was still recovering. It's kind of a weird dodge mechanic, really. Holding out one and moving the... the analog here. Oh, come on, really? Well, I'm looking for them. I've seen them trying enough. I'm going to die from one of these traps, aren't I? Come on, health replenish. They only really shine up when you're trying to torch on them. I think that there lies the problem. Yeah, ammo. That's what we always need. What? Don't know why my aim was so off there. If I let go of our one, will it just drop it? That's happy days. Okay, you. So it's much more useful actually just dropping the flare, then I can fight it at the same time. Well, the music's ramping up again. Oh dear. Am I supposed to be running away? Am I supposed to be fighting? I'm supposed to go up there, but which means I uh, I need to explore everywhere else first. So them's the rules of horror horror game. If you want ammo and all that good stuff, you got to explore to find it.
batteries as well. Get this started, let's get some light going. Let's get nice and caffeinated. I think I just saw a shotgun. The night had been one desperate situation after another. I was exhausted, and my body felt as though it had been chewed up and spat out. The flashlight was heavy in my hand, and each pull of the trigger sent a painful shock up my arm. But I was finally out of the woods, and things were looking up. That's when I heard the chainsaw. Oh, that's not what you want to hear. Oh, hunting rifle. That's new. Hmm, more bear traps. Wow, that's not a good sound. I had heard the plane fall. It made no sense. It was clear that it had just fallen here, but it was very old and obviously hadn't flown in decades. Looking at it, sent a shiver down my spine. I'm expecting there to be something like a resource box or something. Oh, there's an arrow pointing out. Ah, uh, yes, there it is. Get on that, there we are. Yeah, resources. Gotta love a flag gun. I think we're not gonna find a shotgun then. I think I have four inventory items. Seems to have accomplished what we needed to over here. Back on we go. Checkpoint reached. Mm, I see light over there. You know the rules. going for a headshot then but it's difficult to aim. I don't know if a headshot actually makes much in the way of difference but can you stop with your throwing stuff? You know what I'm saying? It is the height of rudeness. Generator. Uh, 
nice soothing light which unfortunately we need to leave immediately assume we're heading to that cabin over there Where we left Barry. That is right underneath the antenna, didn't they? So Yeah, oh dear. chance well this looks all safe and good what could possibly go wrong yep this definitely isn't going to collapse Someone that was going to come alive. Not sure. site was a mess. The modular office had been pushed off the cliff. Deputy Thornton climbed up from the wreckage excited, breathing hard from the exertion. Nobody there. It's weird. Don't you think that's weird? Bored, Mulligan let out a mighty snort. Hell, it's always weird, Thornton. Just a question of sorting out what kind of weird it is this time around. That weird statement saying it's always weird. What was it with us down? And kick! He does like a good spawn kick, does that Aaron? When Barry saw the darkness attack the visitor center, it made him a believer. The men Al said he'd shot, they hadn't been just locals on crank. Somehow the world had changed. Like the channel had been switched without warning. You think you're watching a sitcom, and you're really watching a horror show. When the birds started attacking the cabin, Barry wasn't surprised. Just terrified. Oh no, Barry. I gotta get back to Barry. But said they were after Barry. But they said they needed editorial input, so I assume they're going after Barry. Uh, where am I going? Can I break that down? No? Oh, there's a ladder.
I don't actually know what these things are on the floor. That's a bird. Doesn't seem to be affected by the light though. So maybe it's not like a not an infected bird. Where's her face? Oh, they're talking about the one we saw in the restaurant, the cafe. swiftly to be natural. Darkness gathered between the trees and melted again to reveal the Taken. No natural path had brought them here. No natural path, you say? <laughs> oh, what was that? Something just happened. Underneath there. No, no, it's just my flashlight shining. Aha! Uh -huh. No, nothing up here. It appear to be anything else around here, so let's move on. Any flapping wings for my liking. Don't know if they were supposed to be birds or bats. Either way, I feel like it does not bode well for me. Oh dear. Too far away for this light to affect. There we go. You thought you could surprise me. Nice. This rifle was pretty beast. There's in one what the uh, revolver takes four to do. Mm -hmm. Oh, for that. Then he walks straight past that. Too busy observing the scenery. This remake does look good, it is quite pretty. Yeah, I never actually, uh, I never played the original the first time around. I don't know why, really. I'm always caught up into survival horrors, I don't know. I don't know why I never played it, but. Never mind, we are playing it now. Those guys are fast. 
moment. He hasn't succumbed to the light yet. Oh, nice. That was a headshot. Alright, let's get this reloaded. Uh, I'm sure I'm going towards the campgrounds, but... So, just a quick scan of the area first. Not seeing anything obvious, so... Moving on. To the campgrounds. Well, I'm still on the hiking trail, by the looks of it. So, that's always good. Oh, phone. Barry? Ow! The porch is covered with birds. They've got all Hitchcock on me. Stay out of sight. I'm on my way. Don't open the door. What am I crazy? Stay hidden. I'll be there soon. Just make sure you keep the lights on. Come on, Barry. You can make it through this. Ignore what I said earlier. I <laughs> like Barry. I like the film references. I to reach Barry at the cabin, but at least I was out of the woods. You in other woods yet? I feel like there should be a way in here. I'd have to get the car from the locked garage. It would get me back to Barry faster, and the headlights were a welcome bonus. And yeah. I'm gonna have a driving section. Oh, housekeeping. Okay, they gotta come out of that locked one, right? Holy, too much smoke coming out of that TV. I'm not saying I played a lot of horror games, but I definitely caught that. Ooh, man's page. When the FBI agent's command froze me in place. I considered surrender. It was all falling apart anyway. I could give in, let someone else deal with it, but it felt all wrong. Cold instinct. His posture, the way he held the gun, he was no friend. Shots ringing in my ears, I leaped for the hole in the fence and stumbled into the darkness beyond. Why is this side have no toilets? They're still being built or something. Or was it a shower room? No, there's no showers either. Hmm, weird. Ah, close renovation. That'd be why. I said it's not question anything and go straight for the lights. Is it wrong? There's a part of me that's disappointed that this isn't a Jurassic Park Jeep. Oh, next to boost the lights. Nice. Can I get out of the car? Yes, I can.
because if I was great at the game, I would definitely put a collectible around here. Okay, so multiple cars. Nice. Uh, I was going to go that way then. I just realised it seems I have a battery life on here or something. Or is that just for the lights? some final destination stuff. Yes, Ram! Wow, I did not hit that ramp right. <laughs> any manuscript pages or anything around here? I can't see any. Have like a vehicle health? It seems to be smoking. So I worry that the answer is yes. Why is that light flashing? I'm Barry. I'm a coming. Whether I must check to see if there's any manuscript pages or possibly coffee thermos, furnaces and yes. thermos. I seem to. I've lost my ability to pronunciate. Oh, that's that's moving. Why don't the camera just turn around there? Was that me? I don't think so. Well, I'll take us on foot from here. Yep, that's a checkpoint, so... Why is the music going weird? You can do this to me, music. Where's the threat? The oh, flare gun was probably the best weapon I could imagine against the dark things I was facing. Is this the sheriff's car? Oh no, is it from... Oh, what were their names? There's two deputies, I keep finding the manuscript. Oh dear. What's going on there? Oh, is my light hitting him through the window? Oh, 
I missed time that dodge. Probably is my better weaponry, really, but. Yeah, I feel I am one of those types of gamers where I just will save the uh, the rare ammo and then just never end up using it. You son of a bitch! Where's my wife? Enough horseplay, wake! You deliver the manuscript and you can have your woman back. Simple as that. I don't... Listen. Listen. I'm gonna need time to finish it. I still need to write the ending. I need... a week. It's not done? I need a week. Two days. The old Bright Falls coal mine is nearby. You can find it easy, city boy. The main building, there at noon. You bring the manuscript, you'll get your wife. If not, well, get me. Yes, yes, I, I get you. Wait a second, if I don't bring the manuscript, I'll get you. I don't want to get you. Barry had talked about birds oh, oh, yeah. Phone. That's a lot. No Barry, I'm a coming. Eventually. Yes. Well, just give me a flag and ammo. The birds aren't affected by the light though. You gonna let me in, Barry? Nope. Oh dear. Come on, I'm ready for you. Working on it. Oh dear. Target. Uh, I'm gonna go one more round. Welcome to exposed. A logical I conclusion, to be fair. About a man fitting the kidnapper's description. He'd go through the archives of the local paper. Perhaps he could learn something. Anything about the island and the cabin that had disappeared. The man wanted a manuscript. I had to try to write him one to get Alice back. For me, the supernatural had always been nothing but a metaphor for the human psyche, a tool to use in writing fiction. Now, it was happening for real, and I couldn't put a single word on paper. Then let's find the manuscript. I've already written it. Barry Wheeler speaking. This is Rose. Rose? I found Mr. Wake's pages. Oh, you sweet, brilliant girl. Could you and Mr. Wake come 
get them? I live in the trailer park outside the town. We'll be there in less than an hour. See you soon. Yeah, she sounded Have weird. A great day. Hope you come back soon. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the old dear diner. Good girl. Well, this feels like an end of chapter. Come here. Alan Wake. Can you tell me where I am? You yeah, I'd say that's more than likely the end of the chapter. Previously on Alan Wake, Alice uh, has been kidnapped. Alan. Don't need to previously. How did she get her hands on the manuscript anyway? I don't know. She's resourceful. I told you you were too hard on her. Listen, I found out all sorts of interesting stuff while I was digging around. Yeah. Mr. Wake, it's Sheriff Breaker. We have an FBI agent here, Agent Nightingale. FBI? He's Come on. That's a, that's a made-up name. Okay, I'll be right over, Sheriff. Let's I mean, Agent Nightingale. Help you folks. Name's Randolph. I'm the manager. Well, that's the end of the chapter. So it seems like a natural point to end things. Uh, once again, thank you so much for joining me. If you're enjoying this Halloween celebration, please do come back for the next episode. Also, please do like and subscribe. It will help me out. Either way, please do stay awesome, and I shall see you next time.